In this video, let's learn how to get SpongeBob voice on TikTok. You can see a lot of people using this voice on TikTok right now. If you also want to use it for your own videos, let me show you how you can get it. Now this voice is not yet available to everyone. It may or may not be available in your location. So you need to check it out for yourselves. Tap on the plus icon on the bottom. And then either record a video or tap on upload on the bottom right to upload your video. Tap on the tick mark on the bottom right again. Now after that, you'll land on this interface. On the right side, you'll see a couple of options. Just tap on audio editing. Now this is a section where you can get the SpongeBob voice effect. It is not called SpongeBob, but it's called Trickster. So if you have the Trickster voice right here, you can just tap on it and the voice will be added to your video. If that is not available for you, that means the Trickster voice is not available in your location. Try to update your app of TikTok and try to see if you get that feature or get that option. If you still don't, then you cannot get the Trickster voice within the app of TikTok. So in this case, I'm going to show you an alternative way, which is through the app of CapCut. CapCut is a video editor where you can get the Trickster voice. So just download this application onto your phone and then just tap on new project and select the video that you want to add in the Trickster voice. Just select the video and tap on add. Now once the video has been added to CapCut, on the bottom you'll see the option of text. Just tap on the text option and tap on add text. Now here you can type in anything that you want. Once you type in your text, you'll see an option of text to speech right here. Just tap on this option and you'll have a voice effect of Trickster right here. So just tap on the Trickster option and the voice effect will be added in. So if the Trickster voice effect or the SpongeBob voice effect is not available on TikTok, you can use CapCut to add it in your videos. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to let us know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you want more videos similar to this, make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified for more videos. That's all for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.